Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this cute little squirrel on the rainbow loom. And he has cute little feet and ears. And I made his belly white and gray all around and a beautiful fluffy tail. And I attached it with a C clip or you can just tie a knot in the back and the tail goes on the back. And I really love how he came out. I also made a red one. There's red squirrels and there's also black squirrels. You can make an all black one and you can make any color you want. And I'm just going to show you basically how to make this gray one, but you can pick whatever color you want. And I just really love how he came out. And you can make him stand too. And well, we can get started. And um, it's a single loom. I'm going to make the tail first because it's going to be nine stitches long so I need basically to do the tail first and then we're going to set it to the side and then make the body and attach the tail. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to make the tail first and then we're going to set it to the side and I'm going to make gray but you can use any colors you want and you can even put some different colors in here. You can make it rainbow, whatever you want. It's going to be beautiful when it comes out. So, we're going to take a double rubber band and then we're going to take another double. We're going to place the first double on the hook then slide it on that second double so it hangs like this. Then we're going to place it on the loom with the middle two bands right here. This is going to create the little fringe on the outside of the tail so it's more 3D. So we're going to place another double on the hook then I'm going to just put my bowl of gray right here and then place another double. I'm going to slide it right on there and then place that on the loop. So I'm going to take it slow because there's a lot of, you know, stitches involved. So we'll take another two, place it on the hook, then slide it on. It's just repetitive. Slide it on there and place it on the loom. Okay, place that double in the middle hanging. Another double on the hook, and then slide it on that double. Place it on the loom, push it down, use another double. So these are the specific stitches. So let's count one, two, three, four, five. I want to make a couple more. Here's number six. Number seven. Number eight, and number nine. So with squirrels, it's all about the fluffy tail. Okay, so that takes care of the outside. So we'll push these down. Now I also have bands on the inside. I'm going to show you the tail. There's bands going sideways now and I'll show you how to make that. So now you take two bands and you just place it on each pin. So here's two bands here, two bands here, 
and just place it on the pins. And then work all the way to the end. And we're going to stop right here. I'm not going to place it right here because this is going to be attached to the squirrel on this side at this end. So it's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bands, eight pins. So then the end of the squirrel, I want to make a little bit fluffier and I'm going to place four bands. So four right here is the capping band, but keep your fingers on it because it's easy to lose. Like, we're not going to double wrap it or anything like that. I'm just going to keep it loose. You can actually just place it right here too. And then we're going to loom forward. I'm not looming any of these loose bands, only the ones um, that we placed earlier. So these are four bands. And then I'm going to loom this double. Take your time with it because it's easy to lose and get the bands off the loom. I'm just going to take my time so I don't make any mistakes. And we're just looming forward. And then if one of these loose bands come off, you just place it back on. Okay, and that is it. I'm going to place this to the side. Take your hook, go through here, and you can take it off the loom, and you have your tail. You can fix the flat bands and pull them toward the middle to make it more even, but I think it came out really cute and fluffy. And now we're going to keep it to the side. I'm just going to place it, you can place it on a toothpick or another pencil. Or you can just keep it on the loom, just like this, and it'll stay to the side. And now we can work on the body, and we'll use this as a capping band. Okay, so now we're going to work on the body, and I'm making a beautiful white belly with the gray on the outside. So if you want to make a white belly, you can make a white belly, or you can do a different shade, a lighter shade of gray, or anything which you think matches. So let's get started, and we're going to start off with the gray. And I'm going to loom this one. I'm going to place the bands a little bit different than my other creations because I want to place the bands straight in the middle first because it guides me to what I have to do on the side of the animal. So we're going to place a double. They're all double bands. Double gray just from this pin to this pin, then another double from this pin to this pin, and now we're going to work in the middle. So there's going to be three gray stitches for the head. So here's one, two, and three. So now we're going to work with the body, and it's going to be four stitches long of the white. So double white and four stitches long, and they're all doubles. It's number three and number four. Okay, so now we're going to work on the side of the head, and it's going to be three double stitches of gray. So here's one, two, and three. Okay, now we're going to work with the body. 
body, which is white, the belly. It's going to be another three stitches of white. So one, two, and three. Okay, we're going to stop right there. Now we're going to work on this side. So we'll go back to the top, and it's going to be three stitches of the gray. So one, two, and three. Now we'll go back to the white of three. So one, two, and three. Okay, so now we're going to work and make the legs and the arms. And the legs are very easy. I'm going to use gray for this one. So, and may, I'm going to use black for the little capping band. And those are also acting as like little claws. So we need single black, place it on the hook, wrap four times. So one, two, three, four. Then a double gray. And then slide the black on the double gray. Place it back on the hook. Then one more stitch of the double gray. Place it on the hook. Then you're going to need another double and you're going to slide this on there and then we're going to place it from this pin to this pin. And that is your leg. Okay, so it's two doubles and then attached to another double that we attached. So I'm going to make another one. So I need a single black. One, two, three, four. A double gray. Slide it on. Another double gray. And then another double. Slide it on. And you're going to attach it from this pin to this pin. Okay, so now push these down because we're also going to make extensions of gray on the outside. And now I want to make the cute little arms that come out. And it's the same thing as the legs. So it's a double, I mean a single black. One, two, three, four. A double gray. Just like that. Another double gray. And this time, we're going to place it on this white band. So I'm going to take this off the loom a little bit, place it on the hook, slide that arm on that white band, place it back on the loom. Let the arm face on the inside. So it's a little safe right there. And then we're going to make another one. So black, one, two, three, four double gray, another double gray, and we're going to place it right here. So take that off, and we're just going to slide it on there. Place it back on, and keep that facing toward the middle. Okay, so now we have the white belly and we need this outside gray part. And we're going to place an extension. And it's going to be three stitches and they're all double gray. So I'm going to take it slow and if you just pay attention to what I'm doing, it'll be fine and easy. So 
we're going to take a double gray and actually place it on top of these three white sections. This with three white stitches. So our first double goes right on top of here. Then another double. And then finally your third stitch. Okay, and then we're going to repeat on the left side. So just on top of the white, we're placing another row. Okay, now we're going to make the structural bands and we're going to use gray and this is going to tie everything together so it doesn't fall apart. It's a single gray and we're going to make a triangle right on these three pins. That's our first triangle. Here's another single gray. Second triangle. Here's our third triangle. And now we need to make the neck, which is thinner. So the way that I do this is I take a single gray, I twist it upon itself, so it looks like this, and then I make my little triangle here. And that's going to bring the bands together and make it more tight for the neck. We're going to do another single twist upon itself and place it right here. Okay, now we're going to make the eyes. I'm going to do black eyes. So it's going to be a single black. Place it on the hook. Make a figure eight. Take it again and wrap again. Or you can just wrap it four times. Here's another black. Figure eight. Wrap it around again. Then you take your single gray. Slide the eyes on. And we're going to place it on these two pins. And I want the middle of the eye resting on top of this middle pin. So it looks like that. So it's attached here and resting on top, and the eyes are laid right in the middle. Now we're going to make the little snout. And I'm using a black nose with three bands for the thickness of the snout. So single black, wrap four times. So one, two, three, four, plus three bands. I'm going to dangle them a little bit so they're all the same shape. Then you slide the snout on it, bring it back on the hook just like this, and take another single of the gray, slide it on, and we're going to place it on the same two pins to rest. And this one's a little bit different. I want, you see this pin right here, I want the separate this out. So you have one side on this side and this side. We're going to bring it down and let that band rest on there and then we're going to bring the little nose on top of that pin. So I'll bring it up closer so you can see and I just basically took this and brought it down here to rest and then I separated one side on this side, one side on this side and the nose is on top. Okay? So keep it like that and the ears. Red squirrels have beautiful big ears and if you don't want to add an ear you don't have to. It'll just be rounded, a rounded head. But I like the squirrel with the big beautiful ears but if you don't want to add an ear you don't have to. And if you don't want to add an ear you can just take a double. You can make a little tiny ear and you take a double and on this pin and this pin, just wrap it around twice. So one, two, and it'll be a small little ear. So I made a little prairie dog, and it has a small little ear. So if you want a small little ear, you can do it this method. It's a double, 
and wrapped around this pin and this pin. But if you want a big ear like this, like the red squirrel, I'll show you right now. Okay, so you take a triple band, place it on the hook, and then you're going to bring the hook around just like this, and then put it back on the hook, just like that. So that is one ear, and I'll show you again. This is how I make the husky ear and a couple of the cat ears. So, but I use doubles for them. This is a triple, place on the hook, right through like that, bring it around to the starting position, then you place it back through the hook, and it's like a little twist on the top. It makes a cute little ear, and it's a little pointy too. So take a single, twist it upon itself, and then you bring the ear on that single twist. Bring it back on like that, and then we're going to place it right here. So that's one ear. Now we're going to take another triple and place it on the hook. Bring it around one time starting position. Place it back on the hook. Just a little twist on the top. Then you take a single twist, place the ear on there. Bring it back on the hook and place it right here. Okay, so our tail that I was hanging out right here, we're going to take it off. If you have it on the pencil, take it off, place it on your hook. And very important, the placement of the tail. I don't want the placement, we're going to use it as a capping band. We don't want it placing the little furry part down like this because we're actually going to fold the tail. It's going to look like this when it comes off the loom and then you want it folded on the back so it's furry on the back. So what you want is you want the furry part laying toward you. So it looks like this. So don't put the flat part like this. You want, sorry about the music, you want the furry part facing you. So it's going to be right here as your capping band. So we'll place it right here. And now we can start looming. And this is your layout for your squirrel. So make sure it looks like this, and then we can start. Okay, so pay close attention to what bands I'm looming, because we have extensions here, and we have a little nose right here too. So pull the tail back, that's your little capping band, and we're grabbing this band first on the left leg. So place your hook, it's going to be the top two bands. Take your time, I have my top two, and I'm going to bring it to the left pin. Now I'm grabbing this gray band right here, that's the next gray, and I'm bringing it to the right pin. Now we're going to do the easy part, which is just the white going up the belly. And we're just looming the middle straight up. Okay, so now we're at the neck area, the gray, and I'm going to bring this gray and place it on this pin right there. Now I'm going to take my snout, my little nose, and I'm going to keep my finger here so it doesn't come off, place it on top. Bring it down and place it on top of this gray band. So you can see what I did. 
I brought the snout from over here and brought it down. So now I'm going to take my hook and grab this gray band. And this creates the nose on the outside. And we're going to stop right there. This is going to be our last stitch to loom. So now we're going to work with the extension. And this one's going to be pretty easy because we're only looming the gray three bands first. My gray is a little bit off. Okay. So just the first row of the gray bands. So I'm going to place my hook right under here and just grab this gray band. Take it slow, make sure you grab that gray, bring it up to this pin. Now I'm going to go underneath and grab the next gray, then the next gray. Okay, we're going to stop right there, and now we're going to bring the gray bands to the side. So I'm going to place my finger right here so this doesn't come off. And I'm just going to grab the gray and put it to the side and over here too. And then that's my little belly right here. We're going to do the same thing on the left side. So I'm only grabbing this gray right now. Go underneath, find those two gray. Loom forward, find the next two gray, and the next. We're going to stop, put your finger here so it doesn't come off, grab the gray, bring it to the side. Here's another one, bring it to the side, and we stop. So you just made the side gray of your squirrel. Now we're going to loom the white, which is all the way at the bottom. So put your hook right underneath, grab that white, loom forward, grab that second white, Your third white. Oh, and one more thing. Keep this white on your hook. Pay close attention because this makes, this point makes sure that there's gray on the outside and white stays on the inside. So we have this gray right here. I'm just going to lift it off the loom just like that. Then I'm going to place the white on this pin, and I'm going to place that gray back on top of the white. Okay, this makes sure that the outside is gray and the inside is white. So I'll show you really close. You can see there's white underneath and I just place that gray back on top. So then we're going to loom the rest of the gray on the side of the head. Okay. Okay, we're at the ear and I want to grab this band right here. Bring it to that middle pin. Okay, so now we're going to repeat on this side. We're just grabbing the bottom white. Okay, there's the first one. Second. And here's my gray. I want to bring... Let me get the white first. Now I'm going to grab this top gray, bring my white on that pin, 
bring that gray back on that pin on top. So you can see how these two look. And now I'm grabbing this gray. And just looming forward. And now I'm grabbing this side band. Okay, and not to forget this forehead band. This is my last band to loom. Go in between the eyes. Do not forget this one. Place it on that pin on the top. Now you need two bands for your slip knot. Place your hook right through. And then bring those double bands through. And then you can make your slip knot. Okay. Now there's one more thing. My arms. The arms are hanging right here. Now remember, I want my arms to come out. So I think it's easier to work with it on the loom than trying to find the arm when I take it off the loom. So what I'm going to do is going to be very easy. You see the white band right here? Go underneath that gray. Then we have that white band. I'm going to take my arm with the hook and bring it through that middle of the white band. Not the gray band, just the white. So you can see what I did right now. I just placed my hook right through, grabbed that arm, and brought it out. I'm going to do the same thing here. Not this gray band. I'm going to grab, put my hook right through the white. Grab my arm. Sorry about the bird. <laughs> That's lovely playing in the background. So I'm going to take it up, grab that arm, pull it through, take your time. Okay. So now my arm is through. You can see it's only through this white band, not the gray. Okay, now we can take it off the loom. And then if you're still having problems with the arms coming off, when you take it off the loom, you can find the arm too with, with the animal off the loom and just pull it through. There's extensions, take it off slowly. Here's my nose. And finally the head. Okay, you don't need that anymore. Take your hook through. Push out the eyes, bring up the ears, make sure the pointy, bring out the nose, and he is looking perfect. Oh my gosh, so cute. You can bring out the extensions on the side. Here's the long tail. Tuck the tail behind him. If you want to keep him like this, you can keep him like this too. Tuck him between the legs in the back. Here's our legs and if you want him to try to stand you can bring instead of keeping the legs straight you can make them go forward and also if you want to show claws you can separate the bands on the feet the black band so it's like four little claws 
like that. You can do it on this side too. And you can do that with the little ones on the hands too. And bring it forward or just leave them straight. Tuck the tail back. And what you can do is you can take a C clip, clip it on here, clip it on here, or you can take a single rubber band and tie them together. You want the tail in the back. Or what I did with the other one, I took this and I actually hid it in the back of the head. that little slip knot from before. So you pull, and then I took the tail, brought it straight up, grabbed, depending on how long you want this tail up, grabbed one of these stitches, placed my hook right through, and then I took this, my excess, and brought that through, and that can tie it too. And then you can just leave it like that, or take another C-clip and hide it in the back. Or I'm just going to hide it within a stitch. So take that excess, and I made it like a little knot in the back. And you can play with the tail, make it as fluffy as you want. If you have some bands on the side, like on the right side, just pull it on the left side. I think he came out super cute. If your ears are wobbly, you can always fix them and maneuver them so they're straight. Bring out the eyes. And you have a cute little squirrel. I hope you like this tutorial. I think he came out fabulous and really cute. So please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs so you can keep them straight forward. And if you want to place like a toothpick behind, and he can stand by himself. If not, you can just leave him like this. So please subscribe, and I have some more charms coming up. Okay, bye.